right, so Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. I really actually don't know anything about this game. It was gifted to me by Matthew. Uh, Matthew Brown, or AKA Kinex Kotai. So shout out. Um, apparently someone's told me that it's a double discount Fallout. We'll see. I enjoyed Fallout, so... I mean, do you know how much Fallout 4 I played? Like, when it first came out, I sat at home for, like, I'd get off of work, and I'd go straight over to my console, and then it was just Fallout. Just Fallout 4 for hours. So, um, let's see. New Expedition, I guess. I, I, it says you'll enjoy it better if you have a game pad, and then it just showed a picture of, like, a weirdly shaped controller. So I'm assuming a controller... The music is nice? I think so, too. Whoever said that's thinking of a different game? Oh. What is this game about? I've never played it. Have you played it? Also, I can't get my controller to, like, sync right now. Let's just... I'll just do mouse and keyboard and suffer through. How about that? Okay. Wake up. I can probably manage that. Okay, I'm a little explorer. This is my camp site. I sleeping bag. Excellent. What's on my hands? Sure, it's fine. Roast marshmallow. Extend stick. No. Oh! <sighs> I'd eat that. What? I enjoy a good toasted marshmallow. I happen to enjoy them when they're a little blackened. I think it's... Nope. Oh. This is Outer Wilds. Okay, it's nothing like Fallout. That's good. We cleared that up. Oh, I already burned it. Alright, well. That was fun. Stew. Sardines. Ew. Slate. Hello, Slate. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this what I look like? Hello, Slate. Oh, cool! <laughs> There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp on Under the Stars, I see. Yep. Launch day. Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? Did he fix the retro rockets? Only one problem at a time, and then maybe a few times after that. No need to dwell on the past. The music's kind of loud. I might have to turn it down a little bit. Or how is it for you guys? Can you hear me okay over the music? You'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes. Launch codes from Hornfell at the something or other. I mean, it looks like I have to go this way, which makes me want to run this way. Music's fine? Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Mika. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? Better not change your mind. I wanted to practice with a pro. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? We recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. I didn't realize I'd have to leave. Oh. Oh no. Damn it to hell. We made it! 
Is that not considered a good landing? It goes way too fast. It's much too quick. The horizontal is left shift. Oh! Down is left control. And then W, A, A S, D, or horizontal thrust. How am I supposed to... Like... controller was better for this okay okay listen let me just get the old the old controller hooked up like it's plugged in already just turned on my xbox Maybe this cord's no good or something. I will. Oof. Hey, Froggy. <laughs> Thanks, Booty. Thank you so much. Ow. Sorry, leg cramp. I'll get a different cord. Different. Better. A better. I think this one is going to do it. Here's what's happening. That that was fun, but we're done with that. All right. Launch tower. Yeah, we know that's not gonna go well. Who's in here? Nobody. Observatory. Hi, Tefra. Hello, astronaut. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Marine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's very delicate. Well, <laughs> oh, sure, you can use mine. Galino and me will hide with our radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Be 
Equip signal scope. If I was a kid, where would I hide? Yep, we're leaving the crater today. Look at this. Put down that banjo. I'm trying to find these kiddos. If you look at these alien dudes in the middle of their face. I know, it's a face inside of a face. Remind them to take care of their instruments. Okay. There's church drums, Rebix banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Field Spurs harmonica. If you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space programs other travelers. If you feel like company, you can pull out your signal scope and track them down. Oh, cool. for kids playing hide and seek how is there a ladder how'd they get up there oh there's also how do i get over there oh shit whoops Is it you? It's them right there. Found ya. <laughs> Your hiding spot was super good. Have you seen My Pister Gun back on lockdown? Is that a movie? to get up there somehow. Is that... Oh. We're just in this house? Behind the house? That's the same darn kid. What's this? Postcards from Orbit. Wow, like this is like a camera shop. So can I turn off this other guy's radio, like, station, so I know which one is which? Because that's the same kid and it keeps going off. Maybe I keep going up here. Ooh, Ooh we're at the top of the town now. Ghost matter inside this fence. Ghosts inside it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. 
because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Is that my rocket? I kind of want to get back to the rocket and like fly into space now. I mean, this is all very interesting. Pubs are meant to reopen on the 4th. That would be fun. It's like I should be able to go this way, but is it just down here? He's like on the other side of the mountain. Can I go through the tank? Go around all the way in a circle? It's fine. We got to test out some signal scope. We got to try out some of the uh, model ship stuff. Did not go well. So let's go back to the old um, Oh darn it. He said we have to get the launch codes from Hornfells. That's right. Uh, Hornfells. Is that the observatory? Really, Street? That's cool. Observatory Zero G K. Barely started. <laughs> We're trying to get to the observatory because we need the launch codes from Hornsfell. Hornsfell? Shoot, I already forgot his name. Are you home? Mr. Hornsfell? <laughs> this is definitely. Definitely, definitely the observatory. Ooh, what's this, though? Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Hornfills, Gossam, Slate, and Feltsburg. How? Wow, cool! It's a whole museum! Oh! Translator. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Cool. I really hope your heart. Oh, thank God. First astronaut ever. No, my translator tool. Go somewhere no one's gone before. I'd like to Star Trek it. It's fine. Oh, my back is kind of killing me. Should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. It's 33% off on the PlayStation Store. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the lunch codes, uh, sir. This is like a legitimate astronomy tower. It's really cool. Any other 
developers who simply had vibrant imaginations. How and why? Xenoarchological expeditions. Oh, excuse me? What? just happened remarkably intact statue was carved by the nomai an ancient species who dwelled most detailed look who appeared to have been covered with a layer of fur decorative jewelry what their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system we still have no idea where the species came from It looks like it stole my- or copied my memories. The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue is doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories. No! If you're saying it happened, then I guess it did, but why? <laughs> Hornfuls tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. Carabro said they're going back to Giant's Deep. Okay, I gotta go hunt down Gabro. See if you can use our transmitter tool to find out more about the statue. Good luck. I mean, I already did the translator tool thing on, like, some of this other shit in here. happened crystal was taken from a nomai ruin it creates a local gravity distortion whoa that's so cool Ooh. okay the translator thing only works on that one piece so I'm just gonna around on its own I yeah I got stuck on the wall level-headed among this realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play but Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed so if I come back the rock will have moved <gasps> that's so creepy there it is again there it is again there it is again. Oh, that's so creepy. Maybe we are the aliens? Probably. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing he hydrogen and helium. As a result of the stars run out of hydrogen and start to attract. Okay, excellent. This museum is trippy! Dude, yeah, that stone is what weeping angels are made of. From Doctor Who. I guess I'm headed back to the launch ship. This hasn't been creepy at all. <laughs> hey, 
Hey there, sleep. That episode was terrifying. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of the launch is fun, but I can't wait to get working on the new ship. Okay. Beam me up, Scotty. Suit up. Oh, dope. Might as well have those crystals. Ship's log. Health and fuel fill. Buckle up. Lift off. Wait, that's going very quickly away from me. home Oh, autopilot. No man's sky pirates. We made it! We're on land! Oh geez, that was a, not the perfect landing, was it? <laughs>